do my makeup in front of the camera um i have this cool makeup mirror so i thought that that could be fun something to do haven't ever made one of these before i'm not like very good at makeup but that's what i thought could be cool it's like i like watching when people who aren't as experienced do makeup because they kind of have limited products <laughs> like this glow screen from Supergoop. Um, I think I have it in the light shade, but it's kind of tan. Like, it's kind of dark on my but it's just supposed to be like a sunscreen highlighter. And I'm filming this video on an iPhone. So, let me know if that's good quality. I'm kind of, kind of into it, kind of not, but yeah. Okay, so this gives like this super shine. And I have a lot of like, like bad dark circles. I've been so tired this week. Um just a lot of discoloration, like marks and veins and all these different things. So we're going in with the concealer. And this is just the Garnier. I've like gone back and forth with the concealers that I use. Um, Cause I don't know. I find that I'm just really bad at matching my shade. I, have, I also have so many spots everywhere. I don't even know why. So this is... It doesn't ever say the color. It's just the Garnier. And it's got definitely like this salmon undertone. That is not my shade. But... I... I don't know. I still use it. I never go... One day maybe I should just go and buy some makeup, new makeup, but I really don't wear makeup that often, but I do like the way it makes me feel when I wear it because I just feel so much more put together and like, I feel like with all the spots on my skin and my face, um, nice to have that but yeah I don't know if you can tell it's not a shade match at all I don't know I kind of feel like I'm always the only person out there that just isn't always put together and like will do like nice things like get her nails done but then like a week later just doesn't keep up with it but also if you are like me let me know because I just feel like everyone in the social media space always looks put together, always has nails, always has great eyeshadow and all the like great makeup on. And, or if it's natural, it's like not really that natural. But then I get me my, oh gosh, this is the Touche Clot. I don't even know if that's how you say it. <laughs> and I just kind of highlight my face. I've got lip balm on only because my lips are so dry, guys. You have to drink. I have to drink more water throughout the day. It's like I just drink coffee and seltzer, <laughs> but that's not water. I have this Maybelline Define a Brow pencil. And I've been using this um, eyebrow pencil for forever. All of this makeup is like makeup I've had since high school. I feel like I'm the type of person to... Okay, don't mind. That's my roommate's cat scratch. I feel like I'm the type of person to go ham and like 
do a huge haul of makeup, right? But then like new things are always constantly coming out and I don't have like the financial means to just keep shopping. So I just kind of get what I got in that massive haul and then use that for like years and years. So that's kind of where we're at, but it's not a perfect shade match by any means, but um, has anything in this tutorial been a perfect shade match? Okay, so then I do some highlighter. I just use my fingers and kind of give myself glow. Ooh, it's starting to look better. It's crazy. Crazy how much makeup can really change your face. Like I look dead before this and it's not like I look any, like that much more alive, but I look better. <laughs> um, yeah, looking better, looking better. So I, oh, okay, I've been watching so many people talk about Jacqueline Hill's makeup and I'm like, did I not know that people didn't like her? But whatever, I needed this palette and I thought it was really pigmented. It's the Jaclyn Hill palette, Morphe palette. Now that I know, I didn't know because I'm not super like involved in the makeup world, but now I know that Morphe animal tests, so well, I'm not gonna be buy anything from them anymore, but I just heard about that and after I had gotten this palette, I got this palette for Halloween when I needed red eyeshadow and this was like the only palette in Ulta that had like red eyeshadow. Um yeah, like like red like this. Um I couldn't find anything that deep in that red. So I literally just got it for that palette. And then I also really liked the yellows and stuff. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more of a natural look today, which I haven't ever attempted. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this, like, pinky, pinky nude. And I'm gonna mix it with this color. Actually this color, because I like the deeper orange. And I'm just gonna go my crease. This is kind of like a salmon color. Okay. Um, as an Asian <laughs> woman, I have found that I really hate when other people do my makeup because they just really never know how I want my eyes to look. And like, there is a way to make, uh, I feel like your eyes look nice and enhanced. And I always found that people really just don't know how to work with them, with, with um, Asian eyes. Um, at least in my experience, maybe I haven't had like super talented makeup artists do my makeup, but yeah, it's always made me feel worse about myself, so I usually really try to stray away from getting my makeup done. Um, then I'm gonna go in with this color and just deepen the eyelid. Deepen it up. I used to, in middle school, love to do makeup and would like do it on my mom and and pretend to be filming but like not filming because I was too scared um, of what people would think or say and kind of over that now because it's, I don't know, I mean, it's it doesn't matter if anyone would watch or listen kind of what you want to do. So then there's this gold, but I'm probably going to put down, I'm trying to think, cause it's not, it's like a gold you would need to apply with your hands. Okay, let me just apply it with my fingers. 
let's go. Because I don't have a brush. I would really pick that up. I also like, I do like that, um, the stuff in my crease, it's, like, still colorful. Because I like color. And then, for the brow bone, and I'm thinking the inner corner, to go with this shiny white color. Um, it's got some pink in it because of the red. And I mixed it with the red eyeshadow looks. Now, I'm gonna do eyeliner, which um, I have red eyeliner, but I think that this is gonna look good with black. So this is the L'Oreal Telescopic, and I think I wanna just do like a simple black. I don't know if I wanna do a wing. We'll see. I'm looking at my makeup mirror. So. That is literally how you have to do. I've always had to do my eyeliner super carefully. But here's also another thing, is with Asian eyes, I find that I have always been given like the thickest eyeliner because the makeup artists will like mess up and or like not get, they're not comfortable, which like I get it. Um, because the lid space is so small, so it's like, just let me do it, you know? I know how to do my own eyeliner. Now, time for the mascara. And I just use L'Oreal's Telescopic. This is what I'm saying, like bare minimum makeup here. I don't even have lip stuff. I'm just gonna do lip balm. Um, I used to be super... Okay. So I got the same. Thing. This is literally like the birthday kit from Sephora that you get for free. Um, it's the Laguna lipstick. I'm gonna put this on. And then it's the. Laguna bronzer. So I got a bronzing brush. And this, I'm just gonna. I'm pretty sure it's the bronzer. I don't think it's the eyeshadow didn't even point out that like I don't wear foundation I'm like I could but I don't really have one that matches my skin tone um This is the final look. Um, I actually really like it. I really like the um, pink on the inner corner and like the orangey and gold and just even like the pink highlight. This is really pretty. I didn't even expect myself to like this look this much. It was kind of all over the place thinking on the spot and stuff, but. Thank you so much for watching let me know if you like these videos um and even if you don't i'll probably still make them every now and then because this was kind of fun and i got dolled up and so it's kind of two in one i feel confident i feel good and that's the key even though i literally use the same products every day 
Thank you for coming and watching.